a mod that allows authors to surpass game limitations and for users to enjoy the outcome. Today we install SKSE and verify that it works. Welcome to Gamer Poets and to Modding My Way. Sit back, relax, and pause when needed. You got this. Requirements Make sure the game has been launched at least once since installing it so that it has registered with your PC. Know what game version you have. Open the game folder. Inside the folder, locate and right-click the game's executable. Open Properties, Details, Product Version. Take note of this right here. Take note that SKSE does not support Windows Store releases of Skyrim, Epic Games, or consoles. Installation. Open the linked script extender page. Locate the option that corresponds with your game version. Download via the archive link. Open the archive that is downloaded. Open the SKSE folder. In the second window, open the game folder. Drag and drop the files inside. Mod Organizer Users Open MO2. SKSE should be auto-detected. If it's not, open Modify Executables. Next to Executables, click the plus symbol. Add from File. Open the game folder. Double-click the SKSE64 loader. And if you want to change the title, you can. Apply. OK. From now on, launch the game from the Run drop-down menu. Vortex Users Vortex Users, open your dashboard. SKSE is auto-detected. If it's not, Add Tool, New, name it. Select the Target folder. Open the Skyrim Game folder. Double-click the SKSE 64 loader. Save. From now on, launch the game from here. Verifying that SKSE works. At the game menu, push the tilde key to open the console. Different language keyboards may require a different key press. Check the pin comment for some of those different key options. With the console open, type the following. Get SKSE version. Push enter. If any version at all is returned, the script extender is working. If not, recheck your steps. SKSE has its own ini file, but you first have to create it to change its settings. This is how we do that. Open the game folder. Open data. Create new folder. Name it SKSE. Open it. Create a new text document. Rename the document, being sure to delete the .txt extension, skse.ini. If you don't see the .txt, watch my pre-modding tips video. It shows how to reveal file extensions as well as a bunch of other things. If a warning window pops up, select yes. Open the file. Create the following headers and settings, or just copy and paste them from the video description. The tint line increases the resolution of war paint. Clear and valid registrations cleans your save from dirty on update blocks. When done, save the file. Has SKSE stopped working? Well, game updates and creation club updates also update the game's executable. When this happens, SKSE temporarily breaks, and so do mods that rely on it. You simply have to wait until the script extender is updated for things to work again. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Has SKSE stopped working? Has SKSE stopped working? Has SKSE stopped working? Well, has SKSE stopped working? <sighs> A mod that allows...